heard the president say over and over again that he has never spoken to his son about his business dealings. Has he ever spoken to his son's business partners about his son's business dealings? Again, nothing has changed about what I said yesterday. The president does not get involved in the business dealings of his son. Even through his son's business partners? Nothing has changed since what I said yesterday. Okay. The continued denials from the White House are becoming uh, a little bit uh, unbelievable, don't you think? Now, brand new reporting from the Daily Mail reveals that Joe Biden agreed to pay his son Hunter's legal fees for his deal with this Chinese government-controlled company. So he was only able to pay the bills after he earned millions of dollars through his and his wife's companies after he left the office of VP. Now, here now is former Speaker of the House, Fox News contributor Newt Gingrich, also author of defeating big government socialism. Um, Newt, the left was so obsessed, remains obsessed, with Trump's finances. These seem to be growing ever more glaring and obvious on the part of Biden every day. And yet, Saki every day is like, oh, nothing to see here. Your reaction to all this? Well, look, nobody on the left is going to admit that you now have a corrupt family uh, with a lying president, uh, even though it's, it's patently obvious. Uh, Joe Biden did not put $800,000 into paying his son's legal bills with no knowledge. There weren't 27 uh, different occasions where business associates of Hunter Biden were in the Obama White House. And again, this isn't just Joe Biden. It's also Barack Obama. Uh, it's hard to believe that there were 27 different visits and Obama didn't notice that it was on the schedule. Uh, at the same time, I think the much bigger story that will break presently is the millions and millions of dollars that the Chinese communists gave to the University of Pennsylvania while Joe Biden had established a little school there. Now, all that's been secret. The University of Pennsylvania refuses to admit how much money they've taken from the Chinese Communist Party. Biden refuses to admit how much control he had over the money. And you take that kind of corruption and then you add to it what was happening with Hunter Biden, who apparently was getting money from China, from Ukraine, from Russia. I mean, it, it was amazing to look at the footprints around the world as the Biden family business. And that's really what it was. It's a Biden family business. It's not just about Hunter Biden, but it's about the current president of the United States, who I think clearly has lied to the country over and over and over about this issue. I mean, Newt, anyone who's a parent knows that, like, when you reach a certain age, the only thing you care about, really, is that your kids are doing okay. And that you're, you, you, of course, you're involved. You're not running their business, but you know what your kids are doing. Well, Otherwise, you're just not a very good parent. Sorry. But this idea that, you know, well, he, oh, I, mean, I didn't can... know. I never talked to him. We never, it's just patently absurd. Look, to just take the flights on Air Force Two where Hunter was with his dad going to China. They, they want to tell us that on a 14 or 16 hour flight, uh, Joe never said, gee, Hunter, what are you doing over here? How's the business going? Uh, also, the reference that Hunter himself made, which came up, I think, through the laptop, uh, that he was literally half his money was going to subsidize his father. Now, this was during a period when Joe mm. Biden was the vice president. This wasn't when he left the office. And it's amazing to me that you could have this blatant level of, of clearly taking foreign money in an illegal way uh, by the vice president of the United States and his family who are running a family business. That's, that's what really is involved here. It includes Joe's brother, it includes his son, uh, and it's clearly the exploitation of his public office in order to enrich the family. We thought the Clinton Family Foundation, the global initiative, we thought that was kind of like a, you know, a big cash cow with a, you know, revolving door of influence peddling it. I mean, this is, do you, which one do you think is worse, Newt? The Clintons and corruption or the Bidens? I mean, is it a tie at this point? Well, I, I, I think, no, I think it's been an evolving process. I think that the Bidens saw what Hillary and Bill could get away with and thought, why not us? And I think that yeah, we're in point. grave danger 
of, of, of foreign governments beginning to realize that corrupting American officials may be the most effective foreign policy you can have. So you yeah. had, you know, the, the widow of the mayor of, my, of, of Moscow happens to send, I think it's three and a half million dollars to Hunter Biden, just happens to do it. Uh, I'm sure Hunter didn't tell his dad. You know, you had three and a half million bucks. Yeah, no. Are you really going to go in and tell your dad? No, this, no. This is crazy. They think we are so stupid and they are so confident that they'll be protected by the elite media and they'll be protected by the All Justice right. Department. Yeah, uh, well, so far but they it's, have it's, been. It's, it's a study in corruption. All right, Newt, thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.